base camp's 5,300 meters. The lookout I went to was 5,800. Mm -hmm. So we had done like a whole day of trekking and on the itinerary, we we're meant to stay at this uh, village called Goreshep and go to, which was at 5,000 meters altitude and go to 5,800 meters Kalapata yeah. uh, in the morning to see the sunrise. Yeah. So we got there at 345. We'd already done the full day of trekking. Wow. So we're pretty wrecked exactly. already, yep. And 345, we got there. When we got there, they were like, actually sunset is the time to go. And the sunsets are five. So it's 800 meter um, incline mm. and usually takes two hours. Yeah. But I was like, fuck it, we gotta go now. Yeah, so we went, so me and my mate went. Uh, my guide was like, fuck it, I'm not coming. <laughs> so he was like, <laughs> he was like this old guy. So we just went, he's like, you guys go. Um, so we went. And it was me and my mate. My mate's a pretty fit bloke as well. He's like a Muay Thai fighter. So he's not like a, not a fit bloke. He's quite a fit individual. Exactly. Yeah, he's like, he's quite fit. Um, but we we're both going up this trek. And I guess not to toot my horn or anything, but I tapped into this mindset that I've never tapped into before. Like it was this, like this sense of urgency. Like I traveled around the entire world to see the sunset. Like I'm not missing the sunset. So it was like one breath at a time. Like it was probably one of the most difficult things I've done. It was like a combination of like the altitude, fatigue. You haven't showered in like 13 days, but I just tapped in this sort of inner beast or animal or whatever, mm -hmm. one breath at a time. And I got there like at just before five. Mm -hmm. My mate got there like 20 minutes after me. Yeah. And not to like say I'm a lot fitter. Yeah, He's no, a fit no, bloke or anything. The mindset, like the moment, mindset, that, that moment, like nothing else mattered but this goal. Getting to the sunset. And yeah. when you got there, it's like, you're like heavily breathing, it's cold as fuck. You're seeing the most beautiful view you've ever seen. Mm. It's a very like overwhelming feeling. Mm. And you, I guess in that state, I was, it's like those moments you kind of want to like cry, mm. like those like no, for sure. very emotional, like sort of moments. You're like, you did this yourself. Like mm. you did this and you're reaping sort of the rewards from mm. it. And it's like, in that moment I realized like there's no life worth living pretty much unless it's outside of your comfort zone because mm -hmm. outside of your comfort zone if you really strive you can achieve something like this mm -hmm. and i've never been sort of that present or if there was enlightenment or whatever that's, mm -hmm. that's probably that's sort of that feeling that yeah. Yeah. immense sense of presency where nothing else in my life mattered but that mm -hmm. moment mm -hmm. yeah which was a big turning point for me because i knew i could achieve that myself and i did that myself just mm -hmm. by my actions my thought process and things and i kind of it, it had a big change on how i viewed life i went on this huge sort of personal development routes started listening to podcasts all these kind of things and that caused me to sort of be do better in uni finish uni then come to where i am now wow so, so that was like a really definitive moment yeah, that was that was one of the bigger ones yeah yeah definitely i think there's a few life things and i guess Could life was to to, yeah but that was yeah one of the bigger ones yeah yeah, it's sorry, so, rambled a bit no, about no, that. No, 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 sorry, it's so <laughs> interesting. It's so cool how we can have these really random moments that we would never predict, because yes. they're just so pivotal. Like, I don't know, you get to like 80 and people ask you about like your early life and that's a story you tell. Yes. And it's just such a random story, so unique to you. Yeah, totally. it holds such weight to us. I absolutely love those moments and mm -hmm. I can 100% relate to relate to that kind of a feeling where you want to get somewhere so bad and you know the only way you're getting there is by you like working harder and mm -hmm. finding the way and like that kind of zone you tap into is such a special place i remember um i did like a, a big bike ride at the start of the year and it was it wasn't nearly as cool in terms of like i wasn't seeing a sunset i was trying to get to this general store before it closed because we needed for food <laughs> we needed food for the next three days yeah. and if we got there after it closed. We would have had to have waited till 8 a.m. the next morning, but we had a massive day of riding. We wanted to leave at like 5 a.m. the next morning. So that's three hours that would have been gone. So Jeez. the guy I was riding with, I was on a faster bike. So I was just like, all right, dude, I'm gonna hammer. Cause we got told it closed at 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. So I just plug in and I am absolutely <laughs> hammering. And like we're in the middle of Victoria. I don't know exactly how far away we were. It was just like we're a couple hours out. So I just like, head to the grindstone you know the logistics yeah. just, been, it's like four o'clock i'm away yeah. i'm far away i need just to been there. riding for like nice. eight nine hours or whatever at this point and it was that kind of same thing i like pulled my phone out when i hit the tarmac i was like i have to be close now looked and i was like 15 minutes out or so i'm riding get over this hill and i see this motorbike rider coming up past me and he has a can of coke in his hand drinking it and i'm like 
the store like it has to be closed because he's drinking a coke yeah, meaning like right. it's near so, yeah. so i just like was pinning it oh i thought you said it has to be closed no no closed, closed. oh so yeah, yeah closed, yeah, closed. Yeah. <laughs> so like i absolutely hammer and it's that same kind of thing where i'm mm. my legs i'm so exhausted physically yeah. but i was like He's i am getting the there and it's for me i find in those moments the visualization really helps of like Definitely. i just see myself getting there before it closes see myself getting there I like pull up 3.55 p.m., like five minutes yeah. to spare, run inside and I'm just like, because my mate hadn't got there yet, so I was just gonna buy food for him as well. And I was like, oh, like, what time do you guys close? Like four, they're like, oh, we close at five o'clock. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> but I just felt so good because like that, that sense of reward and that gratification was there because I had pushed through what like was seemingly at the time like initially impossible but then it i just made it happen and it was it was me that made that happen through just putting Mm. one leg after another and and like you guys talking about on a really big scale but even like last night like think about we like this i feel like this stuff happens like every day Mm -hmm. as well and you can actually take like lesson out of that too yesterday we're at this place in the city um with another mate um, to get these, to just get these like cheese steaks. You know, Philly cheese steaks? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we never had we one. We never had one. We're like, we need to find one. Anyway, Josh found this spot. So we walk in, like found the place, walk in. And it's like a sort of like a rooftop. It was like, it was like a cocktail bar, we think. But like, yeah. we just wanted the food. Yeah, right. Um, so we're at the front door. Well, not the front door, like the entrance. And there's like a line of about 10 people. And then there's just this white sort of door. And we're like oh like what's everyone lining is this up the for? line for the place like, is this a line for the place like it's there and then you go up and then they were like we we're just kind of waiting there and then someone's like no no it's like the elevator and we're like oh like the like, line wait. for the elevator <laughs> and we're like oh wait so this, like is the stairs like can you go up the stairs they're like yeah 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 so we're like <laughs> we're like what because there was like 10 people lined up so like, why is no one going upstairs anyway so we're like we'll take the stairs so we start running upstairs and there's like what five six flights yeah i don't know and in my mind though because when i was like oh obviously i'm taking the stairs i start running up and initially i just thought like oh there could be no more than three stories i'm like wait we're in the city this could be a freaking skyscraper yeah, and, we, and, I, yeah, and there was like one or two like staircases up i thought that too I was yeah. like, oh shit we are we in doing? for yeah, it yeah. Yeah, and yeah. the ego in me was like we have to beat these people yeah, in the yeah, lift yeah, yeah. so anyway so we get up to the top walk in like go and find a table the last table there like we take because it was so packed it's packed Jeez. like packed. so many so we people take the standing last table, but it was because we had the initiative to take those stairs and, that we uh, got the last and table. then like a minute later the girl walks out that was yeah, in the lift yeah yeah, yeah. later Damn. and i was and like were, there was no table okay, so boys. it's, the, it's yeah. the same thing but it's like on a smaller scale of like just putting in the work and then yes. like we reap the reward from it yeah 